Welcome to kidsacademy.mobi. Hello everyone. Let's open the worksheet. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. You can find the link to this app in comments below. We have a new worksheet today and the name of this worksheet is called The Tortoise and the Hare Maze. Long I, O, and U. And the directions say, help the tortoise get to the finish line. Trace her way through the words that have the long I, O, and U sound. So let's talk about first what that means when you have a long I, O, or U sound. Let me give you two examples of two different words here, okay? And let's use, let's just go ahead and use the vowel I, okay? Let's think of a word that has a short I. So for example, this is a word or this is the word pig and I want to underline the vowel here I but I want you to listen to the sound it makes it says P -ig. does I this I here does that make an I sound or does it make an I sound P -ig. I, right so that's gonna be a short I sound what we're looking for are words like this. This is an example of a word that has the same vowel, but this vowel is a long vowel sound and it says its name. Its name is I and it says its name. And not always, but usually, do you see this E here at the end? Whenever you see an E at the end, the E helps the I to say its name. They're kind of like friends and they help each other. So E says, say your name, and then when I read it, it'll say, I'm. Did you hear that? That I sound, it said its name. T I'm. That's an example of a long vowel sound, and that's what we're looking for. But we're looking for it not only with I, but also with O and U. That's what the directions say over there. So I'm going to go ahead and erase this, but I want to show you as we go through here, and I want you to really listen to the vowel sound, and often the E at the end is the one that we're looking for because E always helps our vowel say their name, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start up here where it says start, and we're going to help our tortoise through our maze. So we come to right here and it looks like we have two choices. We can either go to hug or mule and I want you to find the one. Both of these have U in it, okay? But I want you to find the one where it says the U name, all right? So let's listen to it. Hug, hug or mule, mule, U. And notice too on mule. It has an E at the end, right? So U says its name here. That makes it a long vowel sound. So this is the direction we're gonna go. We're gonna go through mule, okay? Now we're gonna come down here and now we have two options. We have cut or cute. We're looking for the one that makes the U sound, okay? So let's listen again. Cut or cute. Cut or cute. Cute. You, right? Did you hear that you? And also, there's our friend the E again at the end, so that's kind of a clue, okay? So we're gonna go through cute. Now we're gonna come down here and we've got two ways that we can go here. We've got pig or rose. Now before we even listen to them, do you see a little clue there? Any little friend that might give us some help? Do you notice right here we have an E at the end? I'm gonna guess that's the way we need to go, but let's listen to them, okay? We're either looking for, here we've got two different vowels. We've got an O or an I. So we are looking for the one that either says O or I, okay? So let's listen to it. P -ig, p -ig. Does that say the I sound? No, it doesn't. What about this one? Rose. Rose. What about that? Does that say its name? It does, doesn't it? So we're gonna go through rose. That's the long vowel sound, okay? And then we're gonna come through here, and we can only run through this one. We can't go another way, so I'm betting that's the way that we're gonna go, but let's listen to that, okay? Let's listen to what that sounds like, just to make sure that we're right, okay? This is the word cone and we're looking for that long o sound so listen again c -o -n. does it say its name yeah it does and it's got its friend the e there at the end doesn't it okay let's keep going let's move on down and then we're going to run into this one this is tulip okay and i don't see an e at the end of this one but i don't really know where else to go so i want to make sure that i'm going the right way our u needs to make the u sound okay so let's listen does it make the u sound 
Tulip. 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 That's kind of a tricky one. Tulip. Is it the long sound or is it a short sound? Tulip. Ulip. U. Yeah, it's still the long U sound. Now there's not an E at the end, so that's not always gonna be the only way that they can make that long sound. But that's always usually a good indicator. But this one's still correct, so we're gonna keep going, okay? And now we're running into cube, okay? Cube. Does it say its name? Does U say its name? It does. So we're going the right way. We're gonna go through cube here, and we're gonna keep going down, and then we're going around this way, and we have another word, the word is time. Let's listen and see if I, that vowel in the middle, says its name. T-I-M. Does it say its name? T-I-M. Yeah, it does. It has that I sound, and we've got our friend the E at the end, okay? And now we're gonna come down this way, or actually we could go over here. We could go back the other way. I'm not sure way to go. Are we gonna go to this word or this word? I started to go this way, but let's make sure. We've got wig, w-i-g, it doesn't say I, it's not Y, it's ig. So that one, mm, I don't think that's the way to go. I think we were going the right way down here. Let's check. This is the word whole. Does O say its name? Let's listen. Ol, ol, ol. Yeah, it makes that long sound. So we are going the right way. We're gonna go through whole and we're almost to the finish line, but we run into a word here. Let's make sure this is the right word that we went the right way. Are you ready? This is the word huge, okay? Please listen, huge. Does it make the U sound? And it's our, got our friend the E. Let's listen one more time, huge. Yeah, that's it, we're going the right way. So we're gonna draw our line through here and we have made it to the finish line with our tortoise, didn't we? Great job, you guys did awesome listening to those sounds and you discovered a new thing today with E being our friend at the end who helps our vowel say its name. And you remember that tricky one, tulip? It's not always gonna be the case, but usually E helps us out, doesn't it? Yes, okay, great job today. Bye-bye, friends. Like us and subscribe to our channel. Find links to our apps and comments below.